Hi, and welcome back to Crumlin Creek in this episode of Come Golf With Us. I'm with Peter Henderson, who's the superintendent and general manager here at Crumlin Creek. And Peter, tell me how you got involved with having all these kids here. Uh, basically, Joe came to me with all of his ideas, I guess, and kind of thought it'd be a good fit. I just kind of... Yeah, but it's great to see kids starting out in golf, and you, you yourself must see them improving when you watch them. Yeah, it's just we're a perfect facility for them to come out. Uh, we do kids golf free here seven days a week with paying adult. So it's just, we just try to grow the game and help kids out. Good for you. Now, Crumlin Creek has certainly been in the news a bit about uh, taking a different approach to the game with 12 holes instead of the traditional 18. What kind of response are you getting on that? Uh, I'd say we're, since we went to 12 holes, we're busy. It's nonstop every day. It's, I think our rounds per year have doubled. Uh, yeah, people just enjoy it. It's a perfect amount of holes for them. A lot of people don't have time to play 18 holes. 12 holes just fits their lives, their schedules. It's just kind of makes golf fun again. I think this is something Jack Nicklaus has talked about, the he's, future of golf, is it not? He's been pushing 12-hole golf for, I think, 10, 20 years now. So yeah. a lot of people don't know, like, the first British Open was 12 holes. Well, now, you see, I didn't know that either. Yes. But if you take a look at the major sports like baseball, hockey, and basketball, I mean, you're talking pretty much a three-hour window more often than not. Golf can oftentimes be much longer than that, but if you get down to 12 holes, you're getting closer to that window, which doesn't interrupt meal times no matter when you start. Yeah, so you factor in the travel you... time before and after exactly. your meals, you can turn into a six, eight hour day, depending yep. where you're golfing, yep. and a lot of people just doesn't fit their schedule. Yep. The 12 holes, even after work, 12 holes, two and a half hours, just kind of fits a lot of people's lives. And when people get out there and they're hitting the ball and they see two flags on a green, at first, that can be confusing until you walk up there and realize what's there. Yeah, we do the four and a quarter inch cup, and then we do the eight inch cup for the, for the kids. A lot of them love it. You see a lot of the families out there. The parents are playing golf on the little cups, and the kids are just running around the big cups having fun. So it kind of works out good. Yeah. The regular golfers, they don't, once they play once, they don't, the holes don't get in their way. They don't even notice they're there anymore. So. And uh, is it fun to see people walking off that green if they've played that big cup? walking off going yes rather than yeah, we get even a lot of our seniors they'll, they'll just play the closest cup they're, they're happy putting into whatever yeah. cups closer like they're just out to get some exercise and have fun basically yeah. so on a hot day like this it's awfully nice to be on a cart and not carrying those clubs around but out here when it comes to transportation you've got something a little different tell us about how that machine works uh, we were the first course to get the golf boards we have eight of them here there we've They've been a big hit. We have where, people, where are they made, Peter? Where do they come from? Uh, they come from the States. I believe they're made in New Jersey. I think the company is based out of Florida. But yeah, we have, we've had people drive from four or five hours away just to come use them. And how's it different? Uh, it speeds up the game a lot. You know, you're not chasing the ball in a cart with, you know, one guy slicing left, one guy's hooking it right. It's, it just speeds up the game a lot. So a lot, makes, a lot, makes it fun for a lot of people. Are you planning on getting more of them? Uh, as of right now, it's not really in the plans, but who knows? You never know. You never know. It's they, They've done well, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, well, I know that uh, a lot of people in a, from the TGA golf program are very thankful to what you've been able to do here at Crumlin Creek yeah, in, no, we in enjoy, accommodating the kids. We enjoy working with them. Joe's a great partner to have here, and it's, it's worked really well so far. Well, thanks for your time, Peter, yeah. and thanks for being a host to all those kids who are learning the game of golf. No, it's all about growing the game at the end of the day, and we'll do whatever we can to help. So Perfect. We'll be back with more right after this.